Hello everyone, it's been a while. Uh, today I'm just going to do very quick, not going to be like my typical long videos. Today I'll be explaining a really interesting tool called the stretch tool. It's one that helps me not like... Okay, I'll just exemplify. If I'm done with this design at this stage and the client is like, don't worry about the backyard, you can push it a bit more towards the fence, the fence over here, here's the end of the building, I just want a bigger kitchen, bigger bedroom. So maybe extend this to like 6 meters, and let all of these go with it accordingly. The default thing for me to come and be doing on Akikad, if I didn't know about the stretch tool, is come pick these guys and then, you know, start pushing it. It's 4-5, I add 1-5, and then I need to join this wall with this one to get 6 meters, and I keep on adjusting all of that. After adjusting the walls, I adjust the furniture, I adjust the lettering and all that. With the stretch tool, I don't need to do that. And it's not a very commonly known tool on Akikad. So, if you need to stretch across a project at once, you could just mark it, take note of these two right here. Mark it around the parts of the project you need to be stretched out. Take for example, what I have right now is the heavy mark and you should please take note of that as opposed to the light mark being this guy. If you are making use of the heavy mark what's happening is it's going to affect your project across all the floors. Right now, we don't want that, probably. We're just dealing with the ground floor. So I would make use of this to affect, affect only the floor I'm currently working on. Then secondly, you need to be sure what you want to stretch and what you don't want to stretch. Say for example, this wardrobe. If I stretch out everything, the wardrobe becomes so long. I'm not sure that's a desirable result right now. So I'm just going to adjust this a bit outwards. So what happens is it's going to stretch this guy, it's going to stretch this guy, this, this, and this. But the wardrobe remains this size. So how does the stretch work? I press, I'm going to redraw this monkey too by the way because the staircase was outside of it so I'm retaining it like this now with the staircase and everything inside. So control H. I don't know who thought about it, that stretch should be control H. They didn't think of control S, they didn't think of something that sounds like stretch. There's a different video in case you want to learn how to customize your shortcuts, okay? You can request for it in the comments and I'll drop a link. but. Stretching is control H. So I'm going to pick where I want to start the stretch and move in that direction and then specify the distance. In this case, 1 5. And once I click OK, you see what happens? This is stretched, this is stretched. I don't know who has a 4 5 WC. I don't know why, but it's stretched. <laughs> There's the store and all that. So you could do this just on this floor. And right now, you're going to see that my 3D is sort of going to be sort of messed up. Why did I say messed up? Come to the rear of the building. <laughs> It's happened only on that floor, so above it we have like this cavity right here that shouldn't exist. Okay, I should take that call soon. Alright, go on, go on. Hello? Okay, so uh, yeah, you can also observe that the DPC, the area below the ground floor as well, is not stretched. It's affecting only that floor. So in case I had wanted something that was going to go across all the floors, first of all, I'm going to like undo. And then I'm going to change this to the heavy marker, and this is going to affect all the floors. So when I do this, and then I go with, let's go with something a bit more practical, Um, say like 600, okay? Rather than that whole one five. What's gonna happen now is that it's going to stretch across all the floors and we are going to have a slightly different output. So I don't know why for now it didn't affect the roof, but you can see these are stretched out with this and even this and its cantilevers and so far everything is accounted for. So this could be a really good time saver, especially if you are working on really large projects. Imagine having to do this for like a nine story building where you are going through individual iterations, floor by floor by floor by floor by, oh my god, it's like suicide. So if you found this video useful, like, subscribe, share, do whatever you got to do and it doesn't cost you anything. Like, you think when I started saying it and now you could have done all of it and I say, that button is right there, just click on it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.